Hey guys and welcome back. It feels like it's been a long time, it's been a hot minute since I've done a sit down video. But it's exciting times because Joe and I go on holiday in two weeks time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're going to Tenerife for our holiday slash vacation depending where you are in the world. We've been going in out for about 10 years. It's our favorite place. That is where Joe proposed. That's where we went for our honeymoon. And we just like to go there now for our wedding anniversary. So it's kind of like a little tradition with us. So I have been buying lots of things, lots and lots of things. And I now have my full collection. So I thought, why not show what I got? So there's a mixture of clothing um, and like beauty like slash toiletry bits. So it's a bit of a, a mix of things. So it is going to be a long one. I would get your snacks, get your drinks and let's get started. So I'll start off with some clothing first. Uh, what should I start off with? So I'm going to start with my Forever 21 purchases. So first up. I got this top, let's get it the right way around first. So I got this really nice top, so it's a crop top. You are gonna notice a theme of crop tops throughout this uh, haul. There are quite a few, I have to say. But yeah, this one, so it's from Forever 21. It's almost like a, like a knitted material, but it's quite like a thin, knitted material so it's not going to be too hot but it's an off the shoulder one do a little shoulder shimmy and yeah i just thought it was really cute it's got a nice like kind of frill detailed edging and i thought this would be nice for evenings i'm actually going to be pairing it with a pair of shorts or skirt um which I'm gonna show you later on in this haul. And it can be dressed up or dressed down. So yes, I like that. And that was 11 pounds. So I think that's pretty good for myself. So the next thing I got from Forever 21 was this dress. So it's like a really nice orangey color. I don't know if you can be able to see that. So it's like a short dress. I wouldn't say it's too short. Um, and it's just kind of like a nice, loose drape interior but it feels really soft and it's just in this really nice kind of like peachy orange color which normally I'm not a huge color wearer but I thought for, for on holiday I feel like I want to wear a bit of color and yeah this would be really nice for like a summer evening and definitely for if I'm eating a big meal this is gonna <laughs> This is gonna hide a lot of stuff because it's kind of like a swim dress. It's not, it's not too like drapey. Doesn't look like a maternity gown or something, but it's not like very tight fitting. And that was fourteen pounds. So again, I think Forever Twenty One is quite reasonable with their pricing. And the final thing I got from Forever Twenty One was this black dress so it is a kind of square neck it's like a cami dress but it's a completely skin tight bodycon dress so it kind of goes like midi length and it is very very fitted so this is going to be more of a smarter evening kind of dress when you know you want to look a little bit sexy yeah but it's got a nice like stretch to it and yeah, it feels nice and soft. It felt comfortable when it was on. I didn't feel as if I couldn't breathe in it. And um, yeah, and that was 10 pounds, 10 pounds. So I'm gonna do a bit of swimwear next. So first off, I got these very teeny, teeny tiny, they're very tiny. Um, a bikini just like a plain black tie side bikini bottom this is a thong and this isn't gonna be for <laughs> swimming in or for like going outside well basically the general public are not gonna see me in these um, basically we have a balcony area 
in our apartment so I'll probably end up doing a fair amount of sunbathing on there I think I I did do quite a bit of sunbathing there last year and I thought to myself why not get a thong and I can you know tan the cheeks so yeah so that's kind of like just for my own personal use I'm not going to be going down to the beach wearing this I mean I would I would scare the locals so that's not going to happen so these were from ASOS yeah ASOS and there is no price on here I want to say these were like three pounds I'm pretty sure it was three pounds I think they might have been on like some kind of sale offer thing but yeah I got those I got this black bikini top this is from H&M so it looks like that so it's kind of like a long line one so it's got like the band that goes underneath the like the cups um it's got a really nice detail i don't know if you can see so it's kind of got like a embossed like stripe detail on it which looks very nice in real life i don't know if it showed up on camera that well um and yeah so got little straps like that and it is a tie back which i prefer myself i'm not a huge fan of like the clips because i i like to be able to control how tight the i that i have my bikini basically because my boobs my breasticles are like slightly bigger for my frame so like i've got yeah, so this is a size 12 that I've got for the cup size, which the cup size, it fits really well. But then I find around the actual like rib cage, the, it's a bit loose. So I always like having the tie back because then I can tie it tighter, but I've still got a good cup size then. So yeah, I really like that. And this was 14 99 And then, because I couldn't find the matching bikini bottoms to that, I just got these plain black tie side bikini bottoms, but it's a lot more coverage than the thong. And I just got this from New Look, that was 5 dollars So that's all I got bikini wise, because I actually plan on buying some bikinis when we're over there, because they've got a number of shops, and I thought I want to I don't know, shop around. And I feel like that'll probably be enough just to get me started for like the first couple of days and then I can just shop and get more. But something I have got, I don't know, I feel like this is gonna mainly be for like, for just taking photos for the gram, doing it for the gram. But I got this very uh, Baywatch-esque one piece from ASOS. Now, I don't know why, I just really fancied a one piece this year. I've seen other people in them, like people on my Instagram, and I don't know, I've just, I've just thought people look cute in them. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll look cute in it. I haven't actually tried this size on. Basically, I ordered this in my bra size because this comes in, in like the actual cut bra size. And it was way, it ran way, way smaller. So I'm usually like the same bra size, kind of doesn't matter where I go, but this, ran so small so i've gone up a size but yeah, basically it is a like high cut so it comes up slightly over like you can see a bit of your hip bone basically you need to make sure that you are waxed when wearing this <laughs> because it does it kind of shows a lot it's got a low back but then it's got a cute little like black band then which kind of goes around the back as well. Um, it's a scoop neck. Yeah, I I don't know why, I just really fancied a one piece and I don't know, I seen this red one piece and I thought, well, if you're gonna wear a one piece, why not go all out and become Pamela Anderson? So that is, that is that. So that is it for the swimwear section. Now I got these glasses, which I'm gonna try them on for you, but I feel very Kim K in them. This is not my usual style of glasses that I would go for. I have been wearing them, so they're a tad dirty. 
But yeah, they're not the usual style that I would go for. I usually prefer like the Aviator, like Ray-Ban-esque style. But I don't know, I just seen these and they just spoke to me. So I thought, why not try something different? So they've got no uh, pebbles. Is that, is that what people call them, pebbles? Those like things that go inside your nose, which actually is really comfy, I have to say. And I can put them on top of my head and the hair doesn't get caught in those little peppy things, which is great. Yep, I feel very Kim K-esque. So yeah, they're just like a nice kind of like square design. They're quite big as well. And they are very dark, so I feel like it is gonna like help protect my eyes from that sun. Um, I got these from River Island, and I believe that they were fourteen pounds. So while we're on the accessory theme, I decided that I wanted to wear a headscarf this year. So I always find when I'm, especially if I'm on the beach, but just say if I have my hair up in general, but always, always when we go to the beach, I like to tie my hair up because I always find that the, the spray from the sea just makes my hair so knotted and tangled. I feel like with some people it's like, oh, it's really nice, like, beachy ways no mine just becomes a bird nest so I always tend to tie my hair up and I thought oh, what can I do to make it look a little bit like cuter like a bit nicer like it's more of like a style and I thought headscarf and I wanted to get the traditional red one so I got this from ASOS this was five pounds and it's an actual scarf scarf so it's not the um, the headbands where it's like the elasticated thing. This is like an actual scarf. You can, I can wear it around my neck if I wanted to. I have already tried this on and I was really impressed with it actually. I thought it does look pretty cute. So yeah, so when I have my hair up, or to be honest, even if I just want my hair out of my face, I can put this on just like a normal headband and it just adds something like a bit extra. It's a nice little, like, cute accessory. So yeah, I got that. And from Primark, Primark, I got this belt. I've got a pair of high-waisted shorts, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And like I said, I do have a fair amount of crop tops. And I felt like when I was trying on the outfit, so there was some, just like a little something missing. And I realized it was a decorative belt. So, I decided that I wanted to get a black belt with like kind of gold detailing and yeah this is like the perfect thing I mean the quality doesn't seem at its, like not as nice as what it could be but basically it will do the job so yeah just a black leather look and then it's just got like a gold buckle and then it's got a bit of gold like detailing just on the edge there as well so I got that from Primark, five pounds. Um, I got mine in a small. So shorts wise, I have got a number of options. When I wanna be a bit more casual or if we're just going to like the local grocery shop, I got these. So these are from H&M. They're just like their kind of sweatpants style shorts. Um, I really like the khaki color. So I decided to get them in khaki. Because I, I do feel like khaki looks really good with tan. These were $8.99. And then also from H&M I got these denim pairs. So these are high waisted. And they're kind of like a like worn light kind of colour and material. And it's got kind of like distressed edge into it. Yeah so that's what I got these. And I think the black belt will look really nice. Kind of like contrasting against the colour. They were tickets not on there I believe that they were $17.99 so for evening wise then I I've, I actually had these like a few years back but somehow I think I just lost them and I can't believe that they actually still do them I decided to order myself a new pair so this is from misguided and it is a white skirt well I say white I think it's slightly more of like a cream colour but yeah it's just that kind of crossover detail at the front where it looks like it's a skirt but then 
at the back you can see it's definitely a pair of shorts so yeah i had a pair of these years ago i actually wore them i think to mallorca um yeah they're nice and comfy but they look really nice and smart as well so it's this would be nice for like evenings and this will be very nice when you've got tan so yeah, these are 20 pounds so i think that's pretty reasonable myself and yeah they're a very nice product indeed top wise i have got a fair few casual tops from Topshop, i have got this nice kind of cropped cami top i've actually got this in black as well which i'll show you now so yeah it's just a plain crop it's got like a slight crossover detailing uh it's got a rib to it it just looks really nice i think i have actually got two of these white ones so i've been wearing one already when the sun's been out and it's really nice and comfy it feels nice and loose fitting and nice and cool so this is going to be very very nice on holiday and then i've just got that in black as well because i do like the color black i have to say i've tried not to get too many things which are black which i mean normally i do wear like a lot of like grays dark grays blacks but i've tried to mix up but i've tried to mix it up a little bit but i thought i mean i may as well get it because even for like not even just for holiday just for like everyday wear very very nice indeed so they are six pounds each but i think they've got them on offer for like two for ten so you save two pounds there the next three tops that i've got are all from premark and again they're all crop tops <laughs> these are all very colorful tops as well so i got this one so this is an off the shoulder it is very very colorful so it's like a bright orangey with like blue detailing i'm hoping the blue is going to show up on there but yeah it's like an off the shoulder kind of thin cropped and uh, yeah it's very very stretchy so it's nice and comfortable and yeah i just thought i mean this if this doesn't say holiday i don't know what does then in the same material i decided to get this little cropped boob tubes this is in a light kind of light baby blue and orange so this has got no sleeves whatsoever but again i just thought it looks nice and like comfy um i have got these in a size 16 which i know people will probably be like you're not a size 16 and my my waist isn't but my boobs are slightly on the bigger side and i like to be comfortable so i didn't want anything which was going to be too like tight across my chest because that's like one of my pet peeves is if a top is like really tight across my chest so i wanted it to be nice and like loose i've tried all these on this they are slightly loose around like the kind of waist area but i mean i'm i'm quite happy with that i'm fine with that and that was three pounds uh the orange top was three pounds as well and the last top that i got from premark then was this cute little yellow cami so again it's cropped basically all the tops that i am taking with me are cropped and i don't know how this has happened i have never been a fan of crop tops before but i think because i've been working out a lot and i have toned up a lot in the midsection i don't know i've just suddenly felt inspired to wear crop tops so i have a lot of them but yeah this is like a square neck one but it's got a nice like kind of frill detailing i want to say frill de detailing and that is three pounds oh i almost forgot i got again this is black but i have to say i think i've done pretty well this year with getting a lot more color into my holiday wardrobe but yeah i just got this plain black t-shirt dress um this is from h&m i just again for something slightly more casual or just for like throwing over a bikini on the beach i thought this would just be you know very simple and plain and that was 6.99 so I'm going to see if I can get a pair of like biker shorts to go underneath because they're slightly shorter and um, it is quite windy in Tenerife. There's always like a breeze going. So just to make sure that I'm not blushing anyone, 
I am going to see if I can get a pair of shorts. Other than that, I probably could just wear one of the shorts that I've got underneath. But yeah, that is that. So shoe wise, I well, if you watch my vlogs, you already have seen these. So I got these from New Look, but they're actually from the kind of teenage kids section there's my hair all over them but it's just like a nude pair of gladiator he uh, heels uh, it's just a nude pair of kind of gladiator sandals it's got a zip back so yeah you don't have to oh, why are the cats throwing over everything uh oh i want to say these were 17 pounds and then these i got oh, I these are from ASOS and I believe I got them for £9.50. They were on sale. So it's just a black pair of sandals with some stud detailing on them. I don't know why I was drawn <laughs> I was drawn to this and yeah, very nice. And I feel like it's just something a bit more different, a bit edgy than I usually go for like tan coloured or like very pretty ones but these are slightly more of an edgy feel to them so i'm gonna move on to some like beauty bits that i've got so from prima primark i got this makeup bag i say this makeup bag is actually a set of three so there's actually a larger one and this is the medium sized one and then there's also a smaller one as well so that's what i've got all my makeup bits um so in this medium sized one i've got brushes and nail stuff so yeah i think it was four pounds for the set of three um it's got like a stripe detailing on the edge yeah and basically i just needed makeup bags and i thought these will do these will do fine so yeah i got that and then also from premark i got this bag so I'm gonna use this little clear bag for my carry-on stuff um because obviously if you take anything liquid wise or makeup wise through security it has to be in a clear bag so that's perfect um I wanted these little bottles as well so I've already started filling them up I've got my uh pixie toner in that one I've got my cleanser in this one and there was a one pot as well which i've got my foundation in because uh, i don't plan on wearing that much foundation when we're out there so i thought i may as well just decant it into a little pot and then i've got three other bottles there so i could put shampoo conditioner shower gel you know and anything i want in there and that was a pound a pound so some makeup bits that i have got I got this little mini Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist. Um, I have actually already tried this just once because I just wanted to see what it was like just in case if I thought mm, no and I'll just go and get my usual Urban Decay but this is actually really really nice. I think it did help my makeup stay on longer and I really liked it was a very fine mist. So sometimes I find with the Urban Decay it can be a bit like you, you feel like your face is soaked this was more of like a very fine mist you almost couldn't feel it going on but I mean you, you could but it was very very like like a nice little like spritz rather than like you've just been drenched and yeah that's just like a little mini one uh, I believe these are normally £10 but I got it with 15% off I think so it was like eight pounds so in I have got this highlighter so when I used to work at Marks and Spencer's when these come out I literally put this on every single day I was obsessed with this so it's the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighter and it's in the bronze colour so it's a highlighter don't really know how to describe it really so it's like not I wouldn't say it's like a powder, but then it's not really like a cream. I don't know, it's like a putty or something. But it is just really nice and like subtle. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Probably not, I think the light is too bright. But it's just a really nice goldy highlight. But 
it just looks so I don't know, natural like it's not chunky bits of glitter and it's not it didn't even seem like it's fine bits of glitter it just literally looks like a dewy glossy bronzy sheen oh I love it it's like the best thing ever and I recently went on a trip to MacArthur Glen which is an outlet store in Bridgend and I wanted to get myself a new bronzer so I got this one from Royal Cosmetics Connection and it's the bronzing powder so it's like a baked powder which normally I'm not a huge fan of but I actually really like this and if you can see that it feels nice and like buttery it doesn't feel powdery there's no like kickback from it and what I really liked probably a lot of people wouldn't like this but it's a very kind of warm almost like a terracotta color to it so it's not too red not too orange I would say just like a nice warm terracotta I know a lot of people probably wouldn't like that myself personally because my skin is already quite warm I feel like I need a warm bronzer to actually show up I find a lot of bronzers that I use are quite cool toned and I feel like they just make me look muddy or ashy so I like something a bit warmer so this was perfect for me I really like that um I've also got a few lipsticks and they are all quite bright oh, I say all two of them are brightly colored first off I got this L'Oreal lip gloss uh, this is in does it have a name oh this is in 502 hold me close so this is a like peachy orange color it's very sheer though so it doesn't it's not like too crazy but it's got flecks of like a gold glitter in it um so that's quite like a natural one i would say that's like more of like a well on, on me probably if someone's fairer it might be a bit more of like a colorful but for me that's like a kind of nudey color then i got from rimmel oh my gloss and that is in 610 coralicious so i've actually got that on my lips right now so again like it looks like it's going to be super bright but i think probably because it's a gloss it's slightly more on the sheer side you probably could build it up but it's just like a nice sheer wash of color then and then also from Rimmel I don't actually know what kind of lipstick this is but this is in 610 cheeky coral so yeah the theme is coral <laughs> but I thought I quite like a nice bright lipstick so I thought that would be nice just for like when I've got a tan and it'll just look nice and like bright for a evening out for drinks or something. Probably not for food because I feel like that's just going to go all over my face. But yeah, for just going out for drinks or something, I think that'll be very, very nice indeed. And yeah, I actually think that that is it. So if you are here to the end, well done nice one uh but yeah that is my haul that is everything that i've got for holiday so yeah the makeup bits you will be seeing in some tutorials which will be uploaded when i'm actually away thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed seeing what i got for holiday and i will see you in the next video bye